Hi everybody and welcome back to a new video. Okay, so today is going to be part two of the side-by-side -side comparison. Um, so unfortunately guys, um, the weather here in Colorado, it's been nice, but the wind has been totally gusty and uh, really nasty the last couple weeks. Um, it starts out fine and then by the time I get the batteries charged up for both of the drones and get them out there, um, I can't get good video footage. Now, uh, the DJI, keep in mind, it's got GPS assist on it, um, so and it's also got the 3-axis gimbal on it. So I've been able to fly that thing in like 10 to 15 mile an hour sustained um, gusts and winds, and I'm still getting just buttery smooth video footage off of that um, particular drone. Um, so I didn't think it was very fair um, to do a video on the same day um, with the wind gusts being so bad um, with the Promark. So what I did instead, guys, was I took um, the best video that I've made with the DJI, and I took the best video that I've made with the Promark. So you'll probably notice that the video um, with the Promark has got the wiggly leg in it. That's the best video uh, footage that I could find um, for you guys so you can do a side-by-side uh, -side comparison. Um, so hold on here, guys. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, bring it up. And then uh, what we'll do here is we'll just, uh, I'll kind of walk you through. Um, we're going to play the DJI. I'm going to try and do them side by side on the same screen. If I can't, then you'll see the DJI footage first and then the Promark footage um, after that. Both of them filmed in 1080p. Both of them filmed in 30 frames per second. Um, so the main major advantage is the DJI has um, the, 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 just the buttery smooth, um, filming the the camera is uh, just so much better and uh, the, the footage is uh, just buttery smooth um, so you guys will notice that and uh, the Promark um, it's got good footage um, but the only thing is it doesn't have the gimbal so whenever the uh, Promark drone you know flies to the left or to the right or forward um, you're gonna see that in the video footage um, because it doesn't have a gimbal and a lot of you guys have asked um, can I put a gimbal um, on this drone and I don't know honestly guys I don't know um, what the weight amount is for the Promark drone I don't know if it can handle a gimbal or not um, I've got the stabilizer on it so that at least helps with the shakiness um, and keeps the videos uh, nice and steady um, but a gimbal I have no idea if it's going to be even able to lift something like that and if it does lift something like that I don't know if it's going to affect how the batteries last if it's going to not fly very good at all I, I just have no idea and it's not something I'm going to do just because I have the DJI it's got a gimbal on it I don't want to <clears throat> fork out more money for a fancy gimbal for the Promark when my main business drone is going to be the DJI anyway. So uh, let's uh, flip over to the videos here guys and uh, we'll show you what we got and uh, I'll kind of walk you through it. Thanks.
All right, guys. Uh, so obviously, um, I wasn't able to get the videos uh, side by side. I tried to use the expression encoder to do uh, an overlay of them next to each other, but the audio was off in the actual video itself. So I decided not to do that and just put. Uh, so the the first uh, clip you saw was the DJI. The second clip was the um, Promark um, P70 VR drone. So uh, as you can tell, I mean, both were again filmed in 1080p uh, 30 frames per second um, the main advantage that the DJI has over the Promark again is uh, it's got the GPS assist and it's got the 3-axis gimbal um, so it just it it's just a better off just a better drone and of course you're paying for that you know it's a $500,000 drone versus a $150 drone but there's absolutely nothing wrong with the Promark. I absolutely love that drone. I still fly it. You guys see, and I'm doing videos on it still. Um, so I'm still using it. Um, it's a great learner drone. It's a great drone to learn on and then to step up to something bigger. Um, so that way, if you crash you know, a Promark drone, you're only at $150, bucks, um, which is still a good chunk of change. I mean, I'm not, you know shaking a stick at that um, but uh, the DJI is just a, a better quality drone um, it's just got more features on it um, and you're paying for those features obviously so with the Promark you know it's a basic drone it does the basic functions with the DJI that's going to be something more um, of a professional drone so I hope you guys liked uh, the, the quick video here I did for you guys just wanted to um, show you the comparisons of the two videos um, and hope you guys liked it. So if you did like it, please give me a thumbs up. And if you enjoy the channel and the videos, uh, hit the subscribe button down at the bottom. And next to it, if you click that bell, that will let you guys know when I have new videos that are ready for you guys to view every week. Uh, again, typically I upload on Thursdays and Fridays, sometimes on the weekends if I do have extra time. And I uh, just wanted to say thank you to all my new subscribers, everybody that views the videos. I appreciate every each and one of you guys. Um, we do now actually have fan funding that is available. So if you guys want to buy me a cup of coffee or if you want to donate a couple bucks to the channel, um, that is very much appreciated. You don't have to. It is completely voluntary, so don't feel like you have to uh, donate something. Uh, but there is a private video for that that's available. Uh, with that being said, guys, um, that's all I have for this video. So as always, let's keep our drones in the sky or up in the air <laughs> and flying high. And uh, we'll see you guys next time on the next video. Thanks for tuning in and have a great day.